Hey everybody, it's Keith K, and welcome back to our last day in the South Pacific. Today we are going to complete the endgame scenario and see how that goes. Uh, we're waking up here uh, just on uh, day 49, I believe. So just shy of 50 days. We've got uh, all of our trophies up on the wall, stockpiled everything that we could possibly need. But we aren't going to need it anymore. One last look at our farm here and our setup. It's treated us pretty well. In here, I've got everything we're going to need to complete the end game scenario other than a few of the parts. So we've got, if you remember, uh, we have to uh, stockpile food, water, and fuel. We've also got to be able to repair the engine, the propeller, and the cockpit. And so I have made another trip over to the aircraft carrier just to validate those things, uh, make sure we've got what we need. Um, but we need uh, a total of 10 servings of water. So really two of these water bottles. We need a total of 10 uh, large uh, meat uh, items. Um, I've got five there. I've got four in this and I'll just grab one more before we leave in the helicopter. And then we need two uh, full cans of fuel. So two of these jerry cans, I've already, uh, I believe, filled it up to um, one and a half. So I only need another half of this, but I'm bringing a full one just to be sure. So we'll grab this. And I've got the uh, one aircraft rudder part. Um, that we got for defeating the Meg. And um, the other parts we'll make when we get there. If you remember, uh, for each of the bosses that you defeat, you get the ability to unlock both the trophies and then the parts that don't require any ingredients. And so I haven't made these two, as I discussed, um, I believe it was in the eel video, uh, Rather than take up space and inventory, I'll just wait till I get to the aircraft carrier to craft those. So I'm going to grab one more meat. I won't be needing that. One more large meat. And then we'll just close everything up here. And uh, I think we're going to head out in style on the aircraft carrier. So that should be all the meat we need. Sorry, on the helicopter. Close up our hut for one last time and we'll go ahead and stop that we won't be needing that extra fuel hopefully if anybody else gets stranded out here they can take advantage of everything and we need to head off in that direction there Just take one little tour around the island. Well, maybe not the whole island. Just take one last look. Trusty raft has served us pretty well. Got our, our demo area over here where I built. Uh, some of the layouts, some of the videos that I've made. There we go, day 49. Alright, we can see the Meg and the aircraft carrier in this view, and I'll be back when I'm a little closer. And we're coming in for landing on the aircraft carrier now. Gonna set her down nice and easy over here on the side. It doesn't interfere with the seaplane, even though that's probably just a cutscene. And that served us well. We just need to repair our seaplane here, finish stocking up, and we'll be on our way. So as you can see, I've already stocked it full of water. But let's go ahead and grab our meat. And, and it was really, I, I uh, used two of these clay water bottles, so that's 10 
servings in total. And we've got about half the meat, or we have exactly half the meat full. So I've got five large uh, servings of meat here. You want to go ahead and equip it, and then you can add them in. Yep, and that was five more, so ten total. Grab our fuel. I've got a full jerry can here. Uh, it's three quarters of the way full. It should take half of this, I believe. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so more or less two full jerry cans is what you're going to need to fill this up. Uh, let's go ahead and craft our remaining story parts. So we've got our aircraft engine part. And our propeller part. Uh, let's see, which one do we have equipped right now? So let's go ahead and grab the propeller. Just hold E to fix that. Let's see, the propeller looks good to go. Uh, now we've got the... Oops. Oh, it's going to... wants me to equip the engine part here. So we'll just go ahead and fix that. Can't really see much of a difference. And then last up, oh, it's auto equipping it for me when I point. So that's good to know. Last up is the rudder, which will fix the cockpit. I think it's done. All right. Now's the big moment. I don't like the looks of these wings, but we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to save this. And then we'll go home. Probably should have shut that engine compartment before I got in the cockpit here. Hopefully that won't interfere with the flight too much. All right, let's start the engine up. Ducky for good luck there. Flip the switchy thinger. Engage the rail. Making me work a little too much here. Could have just made this one cutscene. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Give it some gas. I'm going. I'm not sure I'm... I don't think I'm steering this. Let's see. Well, it is letting me bank. So once we get to altitude, we're good to go. Alright, and that's it folks. Looks like we've uh, got
gotten our plane well underway. We're headed off somewhere. Um, I don't know how long this cutscene is going to go, but if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like if uh, you want to be notified of other uh, videos, whether it's for Stranded Deep or some of the other games that I've... <gasps> oh no, we're right back where we started. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right, you got me, B Team. You got me. That's priceless. We're dropping somebody else into the water, I guess, because we were in that uh, seaplane. Well, there you have it. Well played. Well played. As always, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you back here soon in other Stranded Deep videos or some, other, some of the other games that I play, like uh, Green Hell and uh, Osiris New Dawn. Thanks, everybody.